Tuesday night baseball from Oriole Park here in Baltimore. Tonight we continue the road trip with the first of three between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles baseball is next. Ubaldo Jimenez is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. What's your take on him, E.K.? Well, guys, in his last start, he ended up taking the loss. And really, he only threw four innings, so probably didn't deserve anything better than that. He'll look to go deeper in this one. Breathe easier. With that, a look at John Gibbons' lineup for the visiting Blue Jays. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Steve? I think you go up there trying to lift balls, get them airborne, because this is the second highest scoring and second most home runs in this ballpark. So a routine fly ball could end up in the seats. So capitalize on that. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Jansen's known for being a bit of a pitcher's umpire. Not that he has a huge zone or anything, but I think he tends to reward guys for placing pitches in good locations. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. There to take it is Trumbo, and there are two away now. With a moment now, take a look at the defense for the Orioles. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, they have a man on the mound, high ERA. That usually means there's a lot of hard hit balls. So this defense, they're going to have to be ready with that leather out there. Inning is over. So a very good inning that time. R.A. Dickey, a right-hander out of Tennessee, will be the starting pitcher. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Well, guys, he's got a career ERA under four. For a starting pitcher, that is very dependable. They're just looking for a consistent. Some more for the Orioles starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, E.K.? Yeah, if you're pitching, you better be aware of Crush Davis. He's having a really nice season with the bat, sporting a slugging percentage over 500. So there's a good chance he'll have some sort of impact offensively in this one. Mark. Slapped hard the opposite way. In is Batista, but this gets down a base hit. Boy, he's seeing the ball well here early in this first month of the season. Here he doesn't try to do too much with this. He just takes it the other way. That average will climb even higher. He's got another base hit. Manny Machado comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. That one off, and he'll get another chance. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Now that we have a chance, let's give you a look at the defensive alignment for the Blue Jays. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? His nickname is Joey Bats, but Jose Bautista, he can play some serious defense as well. But I'll tell you, the arm is as good as anybody's in the game. Well, we've seen him try to throw guys out of here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. He comes in with that average down in the 2-4. Ah. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. And that's a pitch you know you're going to have to brace yourself against when you're facing this guy. He's got one of the best in the business and he put it to good use there. Matt Wieters will stand in hoping to get things turned around here in April as he Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Second baseman. Devin Travis Devin will come Travis. forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Reimold going back and just short of a home run. This ball's off the wall. Around second, he'll try for third. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Well, that base hit is going to get his hit streak to six games now, so he's swinging it. Michael Sunder. 
Well, I got to tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. Hit hard down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. Well, there you go. 14 straight games now. And he hasn't gone hitless in a game in over two weeks. Do the math. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista. As he'll take a look at ball one. Problems compounding here after a smooth start to the game. Hot shot towards the hole. And that'll get down for a base hit. Seven straight games with a base hit now, and that's a solid week or so of swinging the bat with some authority. Edwin Encarnacion is into the box for his second appearance. Oh, but it's two and two. That's a good idea, one and two right there, just to see if he'd chase. But now with the count even, I think this one has to be in the strike zone because you don't want to run the risk of loading the bases for the cleanup guy. On to Davis at first. It's a double play, and the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Stop grounds out to the other one away. Nolan Rymel will stand in here. One for four in Sunday's ball. Strike two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Oh, you got to like the way he's throwing the ball right now. You get a one pitch out to start the inning, and then you follow that up with a three-pitch strikeout. He's settling in nicely now. Adam Jones will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And a high strike there, 0-1. High in the air and deep to left center field. Ranging back is Pilar. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. And that's a special home run, guys. Adam Jones continues to add to his major league total. That's the 200th home run in what's turning into a pretty nice career. And 200 home runs is a feat that many players aren't even going to approach, let alone achieve. I know I didn't come anywhere close. But by now, he's established himself as something of a decent power threat. And you can be sure pitchers are aware of his power when he steps into that batter's box. He has definitely earned a little respect. Yeah, good for him. You know, hopefully he can get that ball up on his trophy shelf. Like you said, Steve, he's a legitimate power threat up there. But I will say, he's got a long way to go before he's mentioned among the best home run hitters in the history of the game. In that, forget it. It's one and two. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Pilar ranging back. Gone! They've tied the game on back to back home runs. It's a solo home run off the bat of Mark Trumbo as the Orioles have come back to tie this one at two. Just like the guy before him, he went up there with a very aggressive mindset at the plate. So when he got his pitch, he wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to hit a line drive. He was thinking, I'm going deep. This ball clears the Knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one. Give in, and the at battle continue. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around, and the inning is over. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Three innings complete, and we are tied 2-2. Josh Donaldson is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. First delivery to him on the way. Yanked on the ground down the line. And it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. 
the batter. So with the leadoff man on base, let's take a trip back to the 1990s. Many of you probably weren't even around yet, so that's a good reason to check out this date in baseball history. Justin Smoke is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. And this is taken outside for ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. In there, a base hit. There you go. Back to back Center singles here to open, open up the inning, have him set up Kevin in a good position Pilar. to break this deadlock. Kevin Pilar. And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And that's through into left, a base hit. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a relay to the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Russell Martin is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Hit hard on the ground to third. To second for one. Back to Davis, and they turn the double play. Leading off the inning, Chris Davis, as they'll look to get something going here, and even this, and no swing. It's ball two. Knuckle ball, strike three called as that thing came back over the plate, one away. And these two teams right back at it tomorrow night. We'll have coverage of game two of the series in high definition on the show. Big swing and a miss at the knuckler, and now there are two gone. Yeah, make it three straight strikeouts for him now. But, but what's impressive is that these aren't just any hitters up there. These are the three, four, and five guys in the lineup. And he went through them like they weren't even there. Comparison for these two starters. And these graphics can sometimes be a little misleading when you've got to him. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Reimold looks up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo home run that time off the bat of Jose Batista. Sixth home run on the season for him. And it gives the Blue Jays a 4-2 lead. Well, even though they were able to face this guy in the absolute best position possible, two outs, bases empty, that doesn't mean he's still not going to make you pay. He just unloads here for a long home run, but it was just a solo shot. Matt Wieters comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. First out there. Now back. Left. Nolan Reimel is no into man. the box. He was a belted high in the air out to left. Looking up is Saunders. Gone! So a two run home run for Nolan Reimel, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. It's just a little in, and not a terrible location, really. But if you're sitting on that pitch in that spot, you could certainly do some damage. And he absolutely did some right there. That's a two-run homer. 
is off the plate for a ball one and oh. and has tried to make an impact really everywhere he's been. Well, I think it's followed him around his whole life. As a youth, he spent a lot of time at the Jackie Robinson YMCA in San Diego, and now he's partnered with the Central Maryland Y in recent oh, years you. to kind of pay it forward. He's done a lot of baseball camp work, too. Manny Machado will stand in now. A punch-out victim twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying... Pedro Alvarez gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there in the pitch count. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. And here this is one more time on show track. You can see he checked his swing there, and I think he did so in time, but you can clearly see that that pitch is in the strike zone, and I think ultimately... Stepping in, Matt Wieters. He singled his eight pitches against a guy that's running short on gas. That can be huge. Swinging a soft liner. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Well, this is not exact. Welcome back to Baseball on the Show. Before we start the seventh, let's pause to take a quick look at how we got here. It's our game summary through the first six innings of play. Devin Travis will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Hit high and deep to left field. Reimold racing back, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Oh, man, I tell you, I thought that ball was Michael out of here. Sunday. And this would have given him a lead, but it's going to wind up hitting off the wall out there. And now just a base hit has the potential to push him out front here late in the game. And now here comes Oriel manager Buck Showalter on his way to the mound. And that's going to be the end of the line tonight for Ubaldo Jimenez. Brad Brock will come on and pitch here with one gone in the top of the seventh. Michael Saunders will be his first assignment. A pause and the 0-2. To the right side, and that's going to get through. It's a base hit. Oh, and he ignores the third base coach and heads for home. The tag, and they cut down the potential go-ahead run at the plate. And he is in there. Yeah, late in the ball game, sometimes you take a few chances that you might not have earlier in the game. And this one here, he's trying to score to give his guys the lead, but it's not going to work out for him. And in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. In there, no balls and a strike. Well, the guy you see right there calling the shots has opted to roll with his starter here to begin his half of the seventh. And it's back to even at two and two. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. The center fielder number ten. Adam Jones will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. And we are. Odrisimer Despagne will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Odrisimer Despagne. the potential go-ahead run if you can get aboard. Instead, it's just a loud lineup. Edwin Encarnacion now. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Here comes the 0-1. This is hit high and deep out to left. Reimold looking up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run.
So a solo home run for Edwin Encarnacion. Sixth home run on the season for him as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Well, normally when you hear guys talking about pitches that hang, you know, they're talking about the curveball, maybe a slider. But this is a cut fastball. It just hangs. You see it there. Just right out over the heart of the plate, and he doesn't miss it. Manny Machado will start it off for the Wait, Orioles with starting to get late so they need to get at least one back here in this end. Brett Cecil is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. And in a 5-4 game, let's give you a look at the starter comparison to see how these two guys stack up against one another. Chris Davis will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able with the swing, but he stays alive. Still 2-2. Two and two. Mine to the right side. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. You kind of wonder why guys would... And now with the possible time run at second here, we're going to have a pinch runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. So stepping in, Pedro Alvarez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run. He'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92-93. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. I love a guy that comes in late in the game and shows emotion on the mound. You got a guy in scoring position. You come up with a big punch out like that one right there, you better be fired up. Jonathan Scope. We'll step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance of second. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We played eight full. The Jays are out in front, five to four. A beautiful nighttime view there of the Baltimore skyline as we head to the top of the ninth in this one. Ryan Flaherty is going to come on as a defensive replacement now as he takes over at first base. Number three. Ryan quickly, he springs to his feet, gets rid of that mask, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt, and it's strike one. I'll tell you what, it's tough to try and outthink this guy out there. Seems like whatever pitch he throws, you're stuck looking for something else. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Around first, heading for second now. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Wow, stay hot. Wide. Leading off the inning, Matt Wieters. The and they'll need him to get something Orioles. going here. Well, you know he's Roberto Ozuna is on now to now try to close board, things Toronto. down here in the ninth. Number 54, Roberto Ozuna. to have to deal with swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here one away well this is what you want out of your closer comes in firing darts and it's a very quick out number one J.J. Hardy stands into the box it could really use a knock here 0 for 3 aces are empty one man out 
Bounced weakly near the plate. Boy, and slow out of the box that time as he's tagged out quickly. And this doesn't even seem physically possible. I mean, how can a catcher who's in a crouch three feet behind the batter wind up fielding the baseball and tagging the runner all in one motion? I think he just broke the laws of physics out there. Nolan Reimold is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. R.A. Dickey would be the winner if this score holds up. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. And he swings and misses on that one, and now the Orioles are down to their final strike here. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one, and this ball game is over. Yeah, and that's a good job to come right out here and set the tempo for this series as they finish off a good road victory here in game one. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he was a thorn in their side all game long. You'll see there, he winds up with a three-hit ball game, and a couple of those were key hits that helped lead his guys to victory. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Blue Jays come out on top 5-4. to four. Good night from Baltimore.